Biodiversity can be defined as the variation of life in a given habitat or ecosystem. It also relates to the differences and richness of all species on Earth. It is important to note that biodiversity doesn't just relate to different species, but also to differences within one species. If you know about Charles Darwin, then you may be familiar with his various finches. Biodiversity contributes to the overall health and function of an ecosystem. It provides genetic variation within a species, which is vital towards the adaptation and evolution of each species. For example, if an environment becomes stressed, some individuals may die that cannot adapt. However, biodiversity can help overcome a stressor. Humans can derive many goods and services from biodiversity. For example, food, medicine, and cultural benefits. So from both a human and ecosystem perspective, the maintenance and biodiversity of a habitat is very important. Yet many scientists today believe that we are facing with mass extinction, somewhere between 100 and 1,000 species per year. So what brought about this new trend? Well, we, humans, are one of the main drivers that drastically altered the landscape and natural balances, resulting in anthropogenic impacts on global climate change. Scientists are still limited in estimating overall biodiversity on Earth. There are probably between 40 and 40 million species, but that number could be as high as 100 million. And of that total, we've only observed approximately 1.5 million species. There's a huge gap in the completeness of exploration of every corner of Earth, oceans included. It's also easier to monitor and identify the larger species, as well as the terrestrial ones. This limited understanding has also resulted in the documentation of only about 800 recorded extinctions since the 1500s. However, with advances in spatial and temporal monitoring, we can gain a better estimation of biodiversity and extinction trends.